SpaceX has been authorized to provide a satellite service in Australia. They currently have 242 Starlink satellites that are in orbit and for February they're likely going to launch two more rockets that have a capability of 120 satellites in total. So we might see closer to 400 satellites by the end of February. In Australia, the government currently have two satellites that are operational called NBN, which provides an internet service close to 96,000 Australian. Now imagine with SpaceX by the end of February having 400 satellites that are operational, although no service still currently being provided, they're likely going to provide an internet service closer to 1 million people. As for the cost of service, we don't know the monthly cost of it, but we do know likely the cost of the antenna, as Elon said, will be the size of a large pizza box. Is it a cheese pizza or is it a pepperoni pizza? Because that could make a difference. Now the cost can be anywhere between $149 to $300 just to buy the satellite box. Now some analysts are estimating the actual cost might be closer to $1,400 just because you're starting with a smaller batch and as you keep mass producing the satellites, the cost would eventually reduce down. The first iteration of providing the service is likely going to benefit people who live in remote areas that either have a, a bad internet service or who don't have any service. Elon actually said in the third row podcast, he was just talking about what speed of internet do you actually need for you to do everyday work you know, streaming a uh, movie or streaming uh, games or everything else. You only need 20 megabytes per second of an internet. On 2016, when SpaceX actually filed the Starlink application, they said they will be able to provide a internet service closer to one gigabyte per second. That's likely going to be once, in my opinion, they have all the 40,000 satellite operational, then it would make sense you would have far stronger signal and hitting that one gigabyte of internet service might be possible. But currently, as we will see hopefully soon in the future, hopefully within the next couple of months, the service speed that you're likely going to get is only going to be 20 megabytes per second. Providing the service for third world countries might be actually sometime in the future, maybe five or six years into the future once everyone in the United States can afford it and now they're tapping into third world countries because of the cost of the satellite is very expensive. 